Hi, and welcome to Kathy Rain. Now this is another game that the developer contacted me on, and it was, uh, <laughs> it was actually quite hilarious. It was a very, very nice chap called uh, David, and he kept sending us updates on when the game is going to be released and things like that. <laughs> and he always managed to screw up the price. <laughs> Aw, you do you, David. You were awesome. But yeah, welcome to Kathy Rain. It's a an adventure game that I've been planning on playing for quite a long time, but never really got around to it. It's been out for um, at least a month, I think. And thank you to everyone who suggested it. Yes, I can't wait to play it. Let's start a new game. Hey, you! Uh, hey. Oh, man. Oh, man. So hungover, probably. Oh, God. This is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. Sounds lovely. I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So, I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So, I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. It's just to shut up for, like, ten hours, please. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. Rain. That's such a cool family name. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him. Yeah, he is- was my grandfather. I don't want to talk about it. I haven't seen him since I was a kid, a lifetime ago. I haven't seen him since I was a kid, a lifetime ago. Hey, wait a minute, I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I, uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen, seriously. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. Oh, come on, she's harmless. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. <sighs> Good night, Kathy. Oh, come on, she's so sweet. She doesn't mean any harm. I she told you about your grandfather's funeral. We should definitely go. 1995. Ooh, day one. It's planned out by day. Oh, oh god, god make, make it, it stop. stop. Please, make it stop. Wake up. St kill it. Turn off. Th throw it out. Eileen's obnoxious alarm clock. The noise makes me want to stab myself with something dull. Yep, exactly how I feel. Please, kill it. Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later, E. As much as I hate that alarm, she's right. Completely right. I'm so getting a new roommate. No! She's fine. She's perfect, well, actually. I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Yeah. Yeah, but we, before we go to a funeral, we just have to inspect everything, uh, as usual. Notebook. Why do I have a stun gun? And I'm a smoker. Lovely. This reminds me of Lauren Blackwell. She was so... I don't know, she had this thing about her smoking. It's just it just made her character, you know? Combi oh, I can combine in my inventory. I haven't seen that in a while in games. I haven't written anything in it yet. Okay. NZ500 self-defense stun gun. Fully charged. You go, you. Is that legal to have a stun gun on you? Oh, I don't want to combine anything yet. I'm just looking at stuff. I can think about it. A girl can never be too safe. <laughs> I agree. The only thing my deadbeat dad left me. Okay. And now we're gonna visit your dead deadbeat dad's dad at his funeral. And he's dead. 
Beat. My trusty Zippo. Running a bit low on fuel. There's a crude inscription, BH, which is a mystery to me. BH, eh? I guess it's gonna be important at some point. My smokes, about a half a pack. My smokes. It almost reads out coffee. Or Corley. Corley. Is that a reference to a game? I think so. Started when I was 12 and never looked back. Pretty much the only thing keeping me sane. Alrighty. Oh, that's a very pink suitcase. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Mildred. Mildred. <laughs> yeah, Mildred. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get her for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. Yeah, Mildred isn't a very popular name nowadays. Uh, it's, you know, it's a name, it's fine. We meet again, Mr. Bear. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you ended up so close to my lighter. It happens. When they move to attack you at night, always be prepared with your stun gun and lighter. Eileen's closet, filled to the brink with inherited clothes and Christian joy. Best kind of joy there is, am I right? Makeup uh, check, amen. hair check, horrible mood and contempt for humanity check. Perfect for a funeral. Eileen's closet, filled... I can certainly see the appeal of blindly rummaging through Eileen's clothes, but seriously, I've got better things to do. Yeah, we wouldn't wouldn't want to look proper for a funeral. Mess up the bed. <laughs> Eileen makes her bed with surgical precision. Yeah, it does look pretty surgical. <laughs> Would be fun, but a bit too childish, even for me. I'm just saying it was an option. That movie's not out yet. It's a promo poster Eileen got for being an extra. She tells everyone who walks in here the same joke. Spoiler alert, the boat sinks. She was an extra in the Titanic? Dude, that's, that's pretty badass. Eileen's schedule. There's a note for today. Set alarm clock for Kathy. Can't have her miss the funeral. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. That's awesome. Is this thinking about items? I haven't really seen that in many new games. I remember there was in all older games you had the option to lick everything and you might have gotten a different response and I guess this is a along the same line. I miss licking all the objects in a game. Color printer. Super fancy apparently. A fact which Eileen loves to remind me of. Oh yeah, it was 95. Printers were like all the rage and colored ones was like don't even get me started color printer our room phone it's got an external line i'm no geek but i know how to use one a computer that is not a geek yeah don't don't use geeks they're nice people usually if you get to know them nah i just got up messy just the way i like it I don't particularly like it. I like the surgical one. Although, it's got a bit too much pink for me. Messy. My electric guitar. Got it cheap from a lesbian I met at a concert. Good times. She was just carrying it at a concert? I mean, was, he co was she competition for the band? This, that's a bit forward. The Thing. One of my favorite horror movies. I've never seen it. The Thing. One of my f Just some random band poster. Pulp Fiction. Love that flick. Oh, I love it too. It's amazing. I'm fairly sure it's about some guy who falls in love with his golden retriever. I think that movie is about a girl and a boy who hate each other at first, and then they fall in love for no reason at all. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's every romantic comedy ever. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, that doesn't say much about the movie. It's, like, very generic, isn't it? All right. Um, time to get out of here. The door's that way, Kathy. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Oh yeah, we're a biker girl. Nice. smoke. 
Does anyone object? Guess not. Dead people rule. Yeah. No time for that now. I'm late for the funeral. Well, that was a very quick smoke. Um, tombstone. I, I guess I can't inspect any of them because I'm kind of late. What about this one? It says price. Price? Do I give it a price and it's mine? A family mausoleum. The family must have been fairly rich. Those things don't come cheap. No reason to go in there. Yet. Yet. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. So I guess that's our grandmother? Ugh, oh, Kathy, you big baby. Just talk to her. Yeah, go. That's why you came here anyway. If you didn't want to come, you didn't have to. The coffin is lowered, but the grave hasn't been filled up yet. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. Mary Elizabeth Rain, my grandmother on my father's side. Uh, excuse me? Mrs. Rain? Have we met, hon? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now finally coming home. Let's hope he can. Wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness. We have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but... Why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. See, that wasn't so hard. We got to reacquaint ourselves with our grandmother. Conwell Springs looks smaller than I remember it. I never thought I'd return to this place. And here we are. I wonder what this is, this is gonna start. Mary Elizabeth, my grandmother. Elizabeth Parker. Okay, so we're gonna have to inspect the tombstones at some point. There's a lot of them. I see. Maybe it's, um, uh, I don't know, people that worked on the game. That's kind of grim, putting people on tombstones after they worked on the game. Did you kill them? A family m No reason to- I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, whatever. Thanks. <laughs> if you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Yeah, okay. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. Yeah, okay. Is it because of my piercing? Or my vibrant hair? Life is too short not to have exciting hair, says the person currently having blue hair at the moment. And what makes you so sure I'm a, on a sin, sinful path? You're not familiar with the concept of a lost cause? No sin, but what am I supposed to do for fun? And what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. I'll pray for you. 
I wish you comfort in this time of grief. He's only doing what he can with what he thinks. He's not a bad guy. He just wishes, uh, w w wishes as well. Now off to being a biker lady again. Now I can go to Grandma. Off to Grandma's place. Grandma, anybody home? I'll just walk in. No, no matter. Oh, side note. When I was, um, when I was about, let's say, ten years old, I participated in a school play where I was Red Riding Hood, but in, set in modern times, and I, uh, I was tasked with taking booze and cigarettes to my grandmother, who was a bodyguard at a club, and my mother was a real estate agent, and, uh, the wolf was, uh, was a, a street hustler and it was a very interesting play and I, I loved every bit of it but looking back on it I think it really disturbed my parents and idea but I was good I was good at being a modern red riding hood providing services for my grandmother like booze and cigarettes moving on with the story cute red horse it's some old Swedish thing I think this paint looks fresh grandma must have had this restored recently Nice black leather coat, right up my alley. Now, we're not here to take their things, yet. A mere single pair of boots on display. Boy, do we live in different worlds. An old wheelchair, not too dusty, probably used recently. Huh, never seen this around. Grandpa must have used it towards the end. A small table lamp. Turn it on. Small... No, I can't. These should come in handy when I need to make calls. You don't say. A wedding photo from when my grandparents married. They look younger than I am now. Things have sure changed. It's a photo of this very farm from way back. It says June 12, 1910 in the corner. Some kind of winter forest scene. I've always wondered if it's supposed to be Conwell Woods or not. Dog fighting. Grandpa used to love that stuff. Dog fighting? They look like planes. Anyway. So, uh, should I go upstairs? Probably Grandma is here. I shouldn't overstay my welcome. Yeah. We're still kind of reacquainting. But it looks like a nice cozy place, although the ceiling needs a bit of fixing. Doesn't look right. Oh, hello, dear. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon, then? Tell the truth, you had her committed to a mental, mental institution. Oh. Well. Mom is... I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. In spite of everything that happened when she took you away. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So, what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. 
Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. Don't know what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Since that day, he never spoke a word. Forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? For all this time? I have no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. Okay, so something happened to her grandfather, and he really, really, well, he didn't take it well. Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first, I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. It must have had something to do with the war. What did the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. Don't worry, Grandma. We're gonna find out what happened. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. The Sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. I wonder why. We're gonna find out. Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. You know, I could try to find out more about this. And we will. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Okay, I think I'll head over to the sheriff station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. Sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Thanks, Gam Gam. You're the best. You're really, really nice to talk to, and you have a nice voice. You have a nice grandma voice. I hope the voice actress isn't. I hope I'm not insulting her by telling her she has an old lady voice. What do you think about this church, Grandma? They seem harmless to me, but they can be a bit pushy at times. Huh, you could say that. Handing out pamphlets at funerals is in pretty bad taste. Awfully strange behavior for a priest, I'll give you that. Yeah. I wonder if he's a murderer. I don't want to show her that. Yeah, probably not a good idea. I don't want to sh I don't want to show- I don't want to show her that. She'll just start worrying about me. Why? This is how you stop worrying about me. I don't want to show- Okay. I already talked to her. Well, we have nothing else to talk about. Fifteen years, and we only talk a little bit about Grandpa. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. Oh, poor Grandma. Can you imagine? Like, the person you live with for decades and decades just disappears, and... What else do you do? Except drink this booze, and... What else do you do after that? Expensive looking scotch. That thing has been standing there forever. 
Huh, it would be kind of funny to see her reaction, but no. Grandpa in his Air Force uniform looks to be in his early 20s. Some woman dressed fancy. I'm not sure how I'm related to her, but she has my hair. What, blue and pink? That's my great-grandfather, Eric Wren. I never met him. They changed the spelling to Rain after he died, I think. Planes, planes, and more planes. Awesome, if you like planes. Planes, planes, planes. I think it's always fascinating to trace your uh, tree, your, your family tree. You never know what people did and what they were like, and it's fascinating to me. There's nothing quite like the soothing sound of rain falling on a window. Oh, there's nothing like it. It's the most soothing sound in all existence. An intricate toy airplane with moving parts. I remember playing with that. Grandpa had a whole collection of them. I, I guess I can't. A decent-sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the looks of it. Can I get some tea or coffee? Grandma has prepared some tea for us. And I didn't have any. And she didn't offer me any. What kind of grandma are you not offering me food and drink? Nah, I'm more of a coffee gal. Hmm. Same, but I also love tea. Well, let's get out of here. Find out w what supernatural event happened to Grandpa. I thought something was going to happen there. It paused on the house a, a bit too much. Sheriff Station. Yo, Sheriff. I just want to talk to you about a case that happened uh, a, a long time ago. About 15 or 17 years ago. Hey, Land Sheriff, of the Free. What's the deal with that bum? What, what bum? bum? <laughs> so, we said that at the same time. Land of the f Not their peak hour. Shit. A bunch Shit. of cops lining up for a photo. Some young cop. Looks a bit familiar. Maybe we grew up with him. Hi. Hello. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me, in a kind of, but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on, it's me, Lenny! Lenny Marks! Admit the truth. Pretend to recognize so we really don't know who he is. Um, uh, I get the feeling that there's gonna be a quiz about things that we did as children, and I have no fucking idea. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? In retrospect, I probably should have, like, played along. Maybe he would have been a bit more helpful. Hmm. What's your opinion on this church? I think it's a nice enough church. Why? I don't know. The priest seemed odd. Kind of pushy. Yeah, I get your point. But I know the guy. He's harmless. If you say so. I don't know. Still getting the murderer vibe. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. S see you later, buddy. Well, gotta go. Old pal. See ya. Old, old friend. That must be the sheriff. He looks grumpy. He looks... seasoned. How's the paperwork coming along, man? Hello, sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. 
It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They were official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Awesome. Oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? But I'm family. Lenny. Aw, oh, damn it. I should have been nice to him. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Uh, just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Come on, give me the, give me the fucking files. A photo of the sheriff shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. Probably the mayor. It's always the mayor. Always the mayor. I'm probably going to stun him. Just some photo. Just some photo. Lanny, I need you to Tons of miscellaneous files. I, help, I don't see anything labeled as police reports, so those must be elsewhere. A uh, gift? Like what? I don't really know your mother. For Christ's sakes, all moms are the same. Oh, I can't use a stun gun? I'm expecting something nicely Combine it. Desk, Look at use it, for fuck's sake. Uh, okay, boss. Lots of police reports organized alphabetically by the looks of it. Aha. Uh -huh. I would, but I can't do that when he's right there. Maybe I can distract him somehow. Hmm. How? With a stun gun? Damn it, I can't use it. Fuck. Oh, Lenny, old pal, old friend. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hey, I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. I'd love to help, Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, he's not gonna give them to me. Well, gotta go. See ya. See ya. Don't... Where are you going? Looks like talking isn't gonna help me get that report. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. I wonder what's behind those doors. Let's find out. Not sure where those doors... I should check it out. Definitely. Definitely not gonna get myself arrested. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bunk? 